Hello everyone. We will continue the topic ALB by CL underscore SALB underscore table class. And now in this video, we will go for sort functionality. Suppose if I'm executing this program, I'm giving some input to this particular program. Suppose I'm giving 1 to 100 sales order number. We are getting the output. I will remove this breakpoint. I will just simply execute. And you can see we have the output. Suppose if I want to sort based upon a particular column. So how you are doing the sorting? Suppose as of now, the sales document number, we are getting that data. Suppose if I want to sort, so I can sort in ascending order. You can see I can sort in descending order. Suppose if I want to sort based upon other column, so I can simply put the cursor, suppose if I want to sort based upon material, you can see in ascending order and now we can go for descending order. Now what customer is saying? Customer is saying I will not go for sorting means I will not go for sorting by clicking on to these buttons. Whenever I will execute the program, suppose if I'm customer is executing the program, customer is saying whenever I'm getting the output, I want a output based upon the descending order of sales document number. Customer will not click on to this button. Yes, if customer is clicking on to that button, yes, we will get the data in the descending order. Now customer is saying, no, I will not go for any applying of the button. I will not click on to these buttons. Whenever output is coming for the first time, I want the output in the descending order of sales document number. Suppose customer is saying, whenever I am getting the output, I want the output in ascending or descending order of this particular created on. But customer will not perform any action from these buttons. So in that case, what we need to do, we need to write the logic for the same. With the help of logic, we need to go for sort functionality. During ALV by traditional method, we cover same to same thing. How you can go for sorting and filtering through coding. When we covered the ALV by CLGUI ALV grid class, we covered same to same sorting and filtering functionality. Now we will cover same to same thing through CL underscore SALV underscore table class. And same to same way, we need to firstly check what is the method available for the sort. We will get a object of another class then we will simply call the method. This is the whole approach in all the things. SAP has given the methods. We simply, simply need to call those methods. So what we will do? Suppose we will take a requirement that whenever the output is coming, the output will be in the descending order of sales document. Data. I will go to back back button. Same to same approach. When you applied the function, you have a method get underscore function. When you applied the column positions, column labels, the method is get underscore column. Now we will check what is the method for the sorting in this particular class. So I will go for this particular class. CL underscore SALV underscore table. Same approach you need to follow till the end of the topic. Now we will see 
is there any method for the sort? I will go for find. I will go for sort. And have you seen, we have a method get underscore sort. And it is clearly saying, we will get a object. We will get a object of the sort. Once we have the object, we will simply, simply call the method. So we will call this particular method get underscore sort. And SAP has followed same to same practices, same to same naming convention, get function, get columns. Now we have get underscore sort. So what I will do, I will go to pattern button. And with that, I will go to a back object patterns. Now I will go for instance. What is the instance of CL underscore SALV underscore table class? LO underscore AL. CL SALV table. Now we will go for the method. And we need to call the method get underscore sort. You can see we have a method get underscore sorts. I will go for OK. Now it is returning. It is returning. And as of now, you all know it will return some object of different class. If I will check what is the object, if I will double click on the method get underscore sorts. And you can see we are getting a object of this particular class. So I will simply copy and I will declare one object which is referring to this particular class. So I will write data. Hello underscore sorts. I will paste. Now I will declare and I will pass LO underscore sorts. I declared LO underscore sorts. So yes, now we have a instance or object of this particular class LCL underscore SALV underscore sorts. Now we will see which method we can use. And have you seen we have a method add underscore sort? Just see the parameters. You will get the full clarity on which column you want the sorting. Go on which column you want the sorting. B, B, E, L, N column. And yes, you want to go for ascending or descending. This by default, it is ascending. But we need to go for descending. So we will simply pass the value. So it's very easy to understand. Now we will call the method add underscore sort. I will copy the class name. And now I will simply pass. I will go to pattern button. ABAP object patterns. Now we have the object is LO underscore sorts. This is the class. And now we will call the method add underscore sort. Add underscore sort. It is clearly saying add sort object to call. I will go for OK. Now, never, never forget to uncomment try and catch block. So if some exception triggered, at least you will not get the runtime add. We will are not returning any object. Now, which column you want the sorting based upon our requirement B, B, E, L, N. Now, if you see the sequence, by default, it is up, up, up means that data will be in the ascending order. But we want to go for descending. Just see, this is an interface. In this interface, we have this attribute. If I will double click on to this interface. And attributes are just nothing. They are just like data objects, variables. If I will go to attributes, you can see sort underscore up, sort underscore down, ascending sort sequence, descending sort sequence, 
So we do not want to go for sort up. We want to go for what? Sort underscore down. And you can see here itself. Just click here. You can see sort underscore down is of this type and the value is two and the value is two. If we want to go for up value is one. If we want do not want to go for any sorting value is zero. So you just need to check. But if we simply use sort underscore down, so by default, SAP is using the value what two. So it is totally your wish. You can pass two also, or you can pass sort underscore down also. No problem. It is totally your wish. This is the way you need to check what are the values and what you need to use. Just double click and check. Now I will simply, simply pass sort underscore down. I can pass two also, no problem. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now for the best understanding, we will see in the debugging mode so that it will give, give more more clarity. I will put a breakpoint here. I will run. Suppose I am giving the input 1 to 100. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. And you can see with the help of CLSALV table class, with the help of object of that class, we are calling the method get underscore object get underscore sort sorry and this object is initial it is referring to which particular class cl underscore salv underscore sorts once i will execute this method you can see the object created once the object is created yes can you call the method add underscore sort yes suppose if i will double click here you will get the more more clarity have you seen the value is 2? The value of this particular attribute is 2. So it is totally your wish. You can pass 2 also. So I am calling this method through the object. The object is created. And now we are displaying the A. And have you seen by default the data is coming into descending order of sales document number. Customer can remove later. If customer do not want to go for sorting, yes, customer can remove this particular thing. But yes, whenever data is coming for the first time, but customer is saying, yes, I want that data to be sorted in descending order of sales document number. I will not go for these buttons. Data should come in this particular manner only. You can go for sorting based upon other columns also. You can go for ascending also. I showed you descending. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with a sorting functionality. But customer is saying, I will not go for clicking of ascending or descending button. Whenever data is coming, first time it should be in the descending order of sales document number. So we checked in the class. There is a method get underscore sort, which is giving us the object of a another class CLSALV sort. And in that we have a method add sort. So we simply pass the column name and we put sort underscore down. If you want to go for ascending, you need to pass sort underscore up. You can double click and pass the values 1, 2 or 0 also depends upon your requirement. In the next video, we will go for same to same filtering functionality. So that's it in this video. Thank you.